so the green stuff that's in that bottle right there is phosphoric acid. Ah. And this is Go away. This is a piece of what's described as I believe ten seventy five or ten seventy, uh pretty common seal. It might be ten fifty five. Um, but it's described as being differentially hardened, so from here backwards would be a softer steel, and from here forward would be harder. At least that's the ideal. So what acid etching does, this is phosphorus um, acid, phosphoric acid, that's used for the preparation of metal in painting. And the reason why you use it is so that there's no orange rust underneath to eat away underneath the paint um, as the paint dries and over time. The difference between orange rust and black rust is that one is stable and one is not. Um, the orange rust is Fe2O3, so it's two particles of uh, iron and three particles of oxygen. And it wants to grab more oxygen and create more of that, um, that molecule. Black rust, which is what this is creating at the surface, um, if it's made by vinegar or other natural compounds, is Fe3O4. So it's three iron oxides, or iron particles, and four oxygen particles, oxygen atoms. That's a stable molecule. That doesn't want to grab anything else um, and make more of itself. It doesn't want to propagate. Uh, and because it's stable, it creates not a passivating layer like uh, aluminum oxide, which can't go anywhere, it can't grab more. It's just totally stable and just makes it so that the surface doesn't corrode any farther. But it is more stable and, and it locks up the surface so that it doesn't create a surface for um, further oxidization, creating orange rust. Anyways, so this is creating a layer of that black rust and the harder surface should theoretically come up much brighter uh, because it's a tighter lattice of crystal forms in the form of a martensite. And so the iron is locked up in the lattice work, or it's just no, inaccessible at the surface. So that's really all this is. That's acid etching. So if this is in fact differentially hardened, like cold steel says it is, then I will be able to see the surface here be bright white or gray, and the dark surface here be darker gray. We'll see. I don't understand what you're doing, so that was I, too much detail for something that I don't, like, I don't know the big picture, so even though you just told me a lot of okay. stuff about different kinds of rust, like, I understood what you were saying, but I don't understand what that means or what the implications are for what you're actually doing right now. I'm trying to see if there's any difference in how hard this thing is from okay. here to here. Okay. Because if there's not, then they lied to me as a consumer. Oh. And I'm not getting the product that they're saying I'm getting. The reason why you'd want this to be hard and this to be soft is because right. if this is 1075 or 1070 or whatever, it's a steel that, when hard, is not very springy. Mm -hmm. So if you hit this on something that's really, really hard, mm -hmm. it's liable to crack all the way through. Sure. This part is really thin. Um, along this. It's kind of like the knife edge. Mm -hmm. And if you put a lot of force onto this thing, it's going to try and buckle that mm -hmm. like that round circle where it has thin ed thin sides. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the one of the ways that you can break an axe is by buckling the eye right there. Mm -hmm. and so that's why you'd want it to be differentially hardened. Okay. And that's really all I'm trying to see is okay. if it is differentially hardened, how hard it is because if this is almost the same color, then this is not going to be much harder than the back end of it, which means it's probably not going to be very hard at all. Mm -hmm. um, and how it's differentially hardened. Because if it's a wavy line, that means they dipped it in something and it's uneven. It's hand hardened. It's hand mm -hmm. done. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It means they handled it. It means a human actually looked at this thing during the production. If it's a perfectly crisp, straight line, that means a machine grabbed it, dipped it into the water, and brought it back up, or boiled it, or whatever. Which is also not necessarily a bad thing, because it means there's a consistent production method. So that's all this is. It's just checking to make sure that what they said is true. And you can already see, very faintly, that line right there. Yeah. That is the hardness line. Oh, okay. This is the paint job line.
that's huh. where there was black paint covering it, and this is where it's not. Uh -huh. But I sanded this down so there was nothing left, uh -huh. and you can kind of start to see where it's mm -hmm. where it's hardened and where it's not. Mm -hmm. And I know that that's where it's hardened because I sanded it down to just open metal, mm -hmm. so that that shouldn't be a paint line or anything other than the hardness line. So then, how does the acid show that? It grabs iron from the surface okay. and turns it into a type of rust. It turns it into okay. black rust. When the metal is really soft, there's a ton of iron at the surface that it can grab onto and make into rust. Okay. But when it's really hard, all that iron is locked up into a really, really okay. tight, really, really hard so glass-like structure. So then the softer part will come out a lighter color a because you're color. removing more iron from it? Yeah. I'm grabbing more iron off of this soft spot and turning it into black rust, but when I try and grab iron from here, I'm just scratching on glass. I can't okay. get at the iron. Okay. And so it ends up a much lighter color. That makes sense. So that's acid etching. Okay. And the reason I'm moving this back and forth is so that I don't get blotchiness. Mm -hmm. I could fully submerge this, but I don't have a bucket for it, and I don't want to waste the acid. Sure. Trillian has a leaf on her nose and in her beard. It's <laughs> great. Here, let me, let me. So that line I'm talking about is right there. And that's farther up than when where the paint was. So I know that's where the hardened line is.